Hey guys, welcome back to Werner Farms. So you guys probably all saw the new logo, or intro to the new video. Um, that's basically going to be throughout all the new videos now. Uh, the logo is going to pretty well stay for a while. Um, if you guys want sweatshirts, I'm getting sweatshirts made. It's just kind of on one of those things where I'm putting together a bulk order. So... If you guys want one, you guys can go ahead and comment down below, and I'll hook you up with one. They're going to cost about $35, so, uh, and that's with shipping. So, I am standing in the garage portion of the office. It's kind of a little bit dark in here. Uh, haven't got the lights done yet. Our local electrician is uh, doing all the... Uh, wiring throughout the uh, garage portion here. We already have the panel box hooked up and uh, he's run, oh, I'd say the majority of the conduit. So there's gonna be uh, uh, plug-ins throughout the uh, garage here, basically wherever there's an empty box, that's pretty much where there's going to be outlets and all of them are gonna be four outlets on each box. So, uh, otherwise, this is pretty well done. As you can see, I haven't, I probably haven't done a video on this in a long time, the garage. Um, garage doors got put up. Uh, MC Doors did those in Michigan City. Uh, those guys did a fantastic job. Um, so we got those put up, I think, last week. Uh, the doors got brought... Oh, sometime last week, and they put those up sometime in the past five days, I think, six days. Uh, today's Saturday. They did it sometime earlier this week. So they actually had the conduit walking over to where the manifolds is for the uh, in-floor heat. Uh, they actually had conduit just run straight across, but we actually had to have them drop it down because of their... Uh, panel setup that they put up on here for the whole control of the uh, radiant heat, excuse me. So, uh, they'll actually, we, have, we don't really know for sure, but we believe that they're just going to put a piece of plywood up here or some type of board to mount uh, all the panel and everything up on here. So, uh, they pulled the wire and they already had the box all uh, wired up. Uh, essentially, they just got to run wire throughout the rest of the conduit here to get all the other outlets hooked up and ready to go. Um, that's basically it. They just got to finish up putting up these lights and running the conduit a little bit in here. And all LED lights, I believe we bought all of these from, uh, we bought all of these from Menards. Um, of course, always having 11% rebate, so... All LED, so that's nice. I think these are about 5,600 women, 5, lumens, if not 8,000 lumens. I don't remember what the box actually said. Um, they did wire an outlet, though, in here for us temporarily until they get the rest of this all done sometime next week. Um, because they quit about two days ago because they had another project they had to finish up on, and we didn't really care because this isn't too pressing to have all of this essentially finished right away. I mean, we're more focused on just getting the electric in here. That way we can call the guy from Ohio to wire up that uh, in for heat. That way we can get the in for heat ready to go. So we do have an outlet that's live in here. So that's good. Um, there's some more wire that we have sitting in here. So I don't know if I ever did really a video on the office uh, after it was built. But here is basically the meeting room and office and bathroom. Uh, that insulation that's all tucked up over there in the corner over there is wrapped around the uh, water, uh, the uh, main line from the water uh, line. Um, we just never got around to uh, doing anything with it, so we just wrapped it with insulation just to keep it from freezing. And uh, they had to tear the insulation down from here. That way they could run electric in here into the office. So 
basically this little nook in here from about oh about right there on over is going to be the bathroom um actually as of today we went over to lowe's which i'll talk about that later and picked up some stuff so uh roughly about where this concrete uh gets divided right in here uh it's going to be the offices so my office dad's office yeah looks like the dog came so i actually came in here oh, a couple days ago and dad came in later with me and we kind of just went through everything i kind of just laid out my office just to kind of see if everything i have is going to work which it should i was just double checking because i did get pick up some more stuff recently so uh basically from about right where that uh upright board is right there all the way to that corner and there's going to be about a three foot doorway so it's just going to be an open doorway and it'll just have oh uh, a row of cabinets so like a half wall like what i was discussing earlier on uh, one of my older videos when i was discussing the office so we'll have just uh cabinets that are accessible on either side we'll probably end up putting the printer somewhere right here um we do have ethernet run in the shop it's kind of run at a, a weird loop throughout the driveway kind of goes from the house up to an angle and then it kind of curves by that rock and goes up over around and over by where dad's desk is uh so we got to run the ethernet um at some point uh over and get it pulled through with conduit and up into the office here because i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to map out the modem uh, i imagine i'm just going to leave the modem set right there in the back and end up hooking up a router either somewhere in the office portion or have an overhead router somewhere in the main portion here um, for the internet in here because i do want to have a modem router set up because in the shop we just have a modem set up and i believe in grandma's house there uh, we just have it set on a modem setup so we don't really have a router so i'll end up putting a router somehow in here because why not better so uh otherwise that's basically it for the office except the doors like i said earlier they got put on um we weren't for sure uh we couldn't remember if we had them insulate the top or not um i don't know if it's too dark but i'll kind of kind of climb up there a little bit and show you guys what it looks like from above um they actually in the contract they weren't supposed to insulate the top here so we have to we actually picked the insulation up today it's kind of dark um you guys can't really see that but uh we'll have to insulate the top up here obviously this whole office is open so we'll have to insulate that but we're not too concerned about insulating the top of the off or uh top of the uh garage more mostly we're more concerned about insulating the top of the office area so that's basically that uh otherwise that's pretty much it except uh actually you guys can kind of see outside that most of the snow i'd say about 95 percent of it's gone uh actually we're they're talking snow again tonight so and of course the nicest day in sight is on thanksgiving actually seeing this they did put the uh uh septic system in so we went ahead and got that put in yesterday so that's all set up and ready to go so really uh the nicest day in the forecast is around on thanksgiving of course so we'll be more than likely uh finishing up double crop beans then there's only about 10 acres in the one field yet and uh 55 left in the other field so i'll go ahead and close this all up uh also he still has to put outlets by uh each of the garage doors that way we can run the garage doors yet so But yeah, otherwise, that's pretty much it for the office and uh, the building. 
Uh, we plan on working on this temporarily until we can get uh, basically harvest done. And after that, it's pretty much full throttle on the office then. So we'll end up running the uh, ethernet up and into the center there. That way we can get the internet in there. Actually, uh, long story short, we actually tried running ethernet over to uh, where we live over at our house and we actually had an antenna dish and tried shooting it over there and long story short it didn't really work so we actually have ethernet run all the way across up over into the uh west side so we'll probably just unplug that and just loop it down under so as you can see in front of me, we did pick up a load of insulation today and a load of two by sixes and some other various size boards um, to build that two by six wall. It's going to be two by six, not two by four, really just, there was really no preference. It was more, we just decided might as well just make it a two by six wall. Um, just in case if we ever decide to put anything in it, we're good and might as well have a two by six wall in there just for stability, I guess. I don't know, just for better purposes of uh, the wall construction, I guess. I don't know. There was really no preference, really. Um, but yeah, we picked up all the insulation today. There's about 38 bundles there. Uh, behind me, we did pick up some deadbolts and door handles for the doors, along with a vanity for and yeah, vanity for the uh, bathroom in there, along with a toilet and faucet and everything. So that's done. Picked up uh, about eleven uh, two by four. Uh, two foot by four foot LED light panels. I think yeah, four thousand women. So, and that was pretty much all that lumber sitting right there. That was left over from the building that they actually threw in the dumpster that we went dumpster diving for and just grabbed just because. Uh, why not? It's decent, really nice lumber, and we could use it to build the rest of the office. Whatever the dogs barking at, I don't know, but whatever. Um. So yeah, you can see that we have a little bit left over from the N4 heat, so we'll probably leave that if we ever decide to finish this out with concrete ever, which that would be nice. Eventually we would end up doing that someday, and we could use that. So anyways, uh, I showed you guys this a while back, but those of you that don't know, all of this stuff is uh, stuff that uh, I'm working with Yetter on. I believe there's, oh, I don't know. I have the bill waiting laying over there by my laptop yet. There's 24 rows of those uh, furrow cruisers, or not furrow cruisers, uh, Yetter twisters that we're going to compare with our uh, furrow cruisers that we run. So there's 24 of these. For those of you that don't know that we actually bought a four row uh, 7,000 planner. John Deere so that's what most of this stuff is for except for about eight rows of uh, Yetter twisters those are going to go on our planner yet since we do have eight of those already and they when I did this whole deal with them earlier they went ahead and sent me eight more of those so huge thank you to them uh, for uh, eight more rows of those so um, Dual placement fertilizer openers, we run those in our planner. We absolutely love these. Uh, these are row cleaners along with drag chains somewhere buried in that box. So basically that's about it. Unstyled A sitting there waiting to be finished up. Probably sometime this winter we'll end up finishing that up and doing the other uh, fender. So because that other fender is pretty well rusted out, and we'll finish that up and get that done. So here's the uh, other Category 3 hitch. That's to interchange it, interchange the 8530 quick hitch um, from a Cat 4 to a Cat 3 then. So 
Basically, that's it. The beans sitting over there that you saw, uh, those are treated and we couldn't send those back. So those are being held over here till next year. Uh, a couple skids of wheat that are being returned because uh, basically we didn't need it. Um, took delivery of some 0506 and I believe 688. So we got seed already coming in from Pioneer. So I, we're not delivering seed until, you know, April, March, you know, whenever guys actually want it, you know, we're not delivering it now, not when they don't need it and not want it. So, so yeah, we got that in a couple days ago and we'll keep getting it in throughout the winter then. So, but otherwise that's pretty much it for now. Um, I don't know. I got to keep working on these, uh, time lapses for the office being built that way you guys can see all those and it looks like the railroad guys are down there they're working on building another uh, couple miles of track leading down to another uh, diamond down there so that's what's been going on besides the farm there so otherwise that's pretty much it uh, i just figured you guys wanted to see exactly what the office looked like and that's basically what's been going on so nothing too exciting i just figured uh do an update on that because i haven't done one i don't think since we put the n4 heat down so uh otherwise thanks guys for watching uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and uh don't forget to follow me on instagram and snapchat and i'll catch you guys in the next video